playing the end, sometimes uh, it, it's challenging. You got to be quick. You got to be agile. You got to be shifty. So I felt like my basketball skills in high school and stuff like that transitioned over to the football field. Inside, bucket is good. That's Kawan Short, first field goal for him. And the foul against North Central. Basket Playing basketball, you got to be solid on one end, and you know, you got to have finesse on the other. It's it off on the right side. That's it, Juan Moore. He's not from the three. Both went to Chicago Central High School in Indiana. Uh, we won a um, Class 4A state championship. Uh, he was the center, you know. I was starting two guard. Man, the post, <laughs> I don't think nobody can stop him in the post, man. He, uh, Good footwork, and he rebound. He averaged probably like, probably like 15 to 10. Can move to be that big. We like, wow, dang! Oh, he can move that um, fast and had good footwork like that. So you know, it just translated from the court onto the football field. Etwan Moore, uh, a guy that I grew up with, uh, stayed not even two blocks away from each other. Throughout our whole childhood, we just you know played ball on the courts in between our houses. We're that close. He can come to my house, you know take some out the kitchen, out the fridge, and you know, not get cussed out or nothing like that. Almost like a brother. We've been knowing each other since probably like kindergarten. Um, I mean, since we were about five years old. Where we from, um, we personally didn't know anybody that played professional basketball or in the NFL. Uh, we both came from a struggle, you know, from rough times. Didn't have a lot, so you know, for us both to make it out and do something successful is definitely huge. It was just unbelievable to see how, how much he developed from high school to, you know, coming to college. Each one more. Oh, baby! His work ethic from, you know, being outside all night and, you know, being around and not going out, just, you know, taking his game to a next level. So uh, just seeing him doing that, it just makes me work even harder to, you know, become that next guy that from our neighborhood to go pro. Hey, it starts with us, baby. Hey, this is our house, and we're gonna make it our house. We're gonna keep it there, y'all. And hey, we're gonna get this win together. Hey, D line on three. One, two, three. D -line. It is a beautiful early October day for football here at Ross Aid Stadium. And it should be a great day for the Boilermakers and Michigan Wolverines to kick off the Big Ten season. Currently, Purdue's undefeated on the home field in 2012. Will it continue here today? We're about to find out. Robinson steps up, throws, caught. 10-yard gain there and another Michigan first down. Robinson back to throw, looks, throws over the right side and it's complete. The offensive line has done a pretty good job of getting off of the snap of the ball. Takes the snap, back to throw. Now he's going to run. He's at the 10, he's at the 5, he cuts back, he dives into the end zone, and they're going to put him down at the 1-yard line. Now the Boilermaker defense needs to stiffen. The Wolverines have really controlled most of this first quarter, already down to 6.25 to play in the opening quarter. Tusanti is in for the touchdown. Michigan with the opening drive, 17 plays. 12.54 to play in the opening half, and the Boilermakers are going to go for it here. Fourth down, it's a little bit less than two yards. Turbush from the shotgun, Turbush throws. It is incomplete, intercepted, and it's gonna be a Michigan touchdown. A 73-yard interception return, and the Wolverines are putting it to the Boilermakers here in the first half. Again, the Boilermaker defense needs to come up with a stop. Purdue brings the blitz. It's caught at midfield, in Boilermaker territory, 45-40. He's at the 30, he's at the 25. A terrific play there by Robinson. He was blasted just as he threw the ball. Third and seven here at the Boilermaker 23. Takes a snap, Boilermakers come with the blitz. Robinson steps up, throws, caught by Devin Gardner. Well, it's been a disappointing day, that's for sure. Robinson. Fakes the handoff, keeps it, he's over 100 yards, and he's in the clear, midfield, 45, 40, 35, 30, cuts back at the right sideline, 20. This is the Denard Robinson that was the Heisman Trophy candidate coming into the season. And they 
fake the handoff here. Robinson keeps. He's over the 30. He's at the 40. He may go. He's at midfield. The 40. The 35. The 30. Cuts back. He's at the 25. The 20. And finally tripped up on a touchdown saving tackle. He's over 200 yards rushing for the day. And this one will be over, although honestly, it was over since early in the second quarter. We could have came out way better than what we did. We was kind of shocked just going in. Uh, I mean, we knew we, we was a better defense with that net. It's a really good team, uh, I and mean, nice quarterback that they have. When I stepped out the other day, I said, I'm going to be accountable. I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to win for Michigan. And that's what I did. And, you know, I couldn't do it by myself. I was in line, did a great job, and the defense played well. So our goal is to win the Big Ten. So whatever it takes to win the Big Ten, that's what we want to do.